these are the three by five inch pieces and these are the whatever I said the different one and something one and seven eighths whatever it was whatever it takes to fill that gap to get these things into the middle here well that's gonna be a bit wide so what we're gonna do is cut the three inch ones down so that they fit the edge of our uh, of our lens piece that we made. Now, I don't, what am I talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is we want to trim off some of the um, the uh, the cardboard so that uh, this thing fits a little cleaner. I mean, we want it to look nice. So I measured. I think this turned out to be two and or two and seven sixteenths, whatever it was, two and seven sixteenths of an inch wide. So I split the difference on our three inch. Uh, piece of cardboard and went out at one and three sixteenths, one and three sixteenths on either side, and I'm going to cut that all the way to the edge, and that'll give us a nice wedge-shaped piece to uh, to glue it all together. And with any luck, uh, after this next little break, we'll have all that sorted out. So again, you know, the dimensions are going to vary based on what you make. So uh, for me to give you the exact dimensions is is kind of hopeless. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut everything up and uh, get it all to fit together and then we'll worry about gluing it all together. I'll try to get these things all lined up. Let's go ahead and throw a bead of our hot glue goop over here. I'll line you up like that. I don't know if we're right in line where we want to be. All right, and that's the first panel glued. Let's hope that works. Now, we will now do our second little panel with a bead of the glue. I'm not really paying too close of attention, so if I'm moving out of the camera range, oh, I got it on the lens, not good. Moving out of the camera range, just bear with me, will you? All right. I think that is our second panel glued into place and you know I'm just kind of eyeballing it but I think we're getting close we'll see this is where I goofed up actually I think our our uh, our little 37 millimeter guy is a little bit too big so I may start looking for something else to use as the eyepiece it worked okay on the demonstrator model but it's not working too hot here anyway let's go ahead and do some more gluing Let's glue that side on, get the glue out of the lens range, and line that bad boy up as best we can. And try to keep the smooth edges, in other words, the edge of the cardboard pointed towards the front. You'll see why when we start to put all this mess together, that that's going to be rather important. And no, I'm not getting it 100% the way it ought to be. This is going to be one of those, let's just hope it works kind of deals. That's why all engineering projects should be, huh? Okay, let's get rid of some of this mess. All right, the glue is driving me nuts. Get out of there. All right, that's probably our best edge, so we'll shoot a little bead of this goop here, and we will fit our cardboard there. Foam board, cardboard, whatever. And right, it dries, and I think I got them pretty well lined up the way I want. And now it's starting to take its shape. Yeah, I'll fill these gaps in with tape. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't be too worried about it. I know you aren't. And then all that's going to glue to here. It's going to be the tricky bit is gluing it to there. But the idea will be, and I'm not going to waste your time making you watch me do it. I'll do it all off camera. I'm going to run a bead of glue all around. I guess I get in camera shot. I'm going to run a bead of glue all around the uh, LCD protector, and then I'm going to glue this thing to it. I'm not going to make you sit through that. All right, and there it is glued. Now, yeah, I got a little bit on the lens. It's, it's not going to kill us. Is this perfect? No. Is it worth 40 bucks? Mm, I'm two ways about it. I'm going to mount it on the camera. No, and I, I'm going to fill these gaps in with black tape, by the way. 
Remember when I said we're going to need some black tape? All right. Now, there we are. It's attached to the camera, and I was hoping there would be enough weight to kind of pull it down and fill in that gap, but I don't think that's going to be that little gap, remember here? That's not going to be that big of a problem. So let's turn on our camera, and I'm going to give it its first look-see. And you know what? That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Kind of hard to see from that vantage point, but look at that. You can see it in there. I think maybe it'll work. And uh, I'm going to put the whole thing together and finish it up. And uh, I'm doing all this in little fits and starts. So uh, you'll just have to see it when I get done. All right, so in the final analysis, now that I put some tape on it, put it together, I'm getting where I like it a little bit more. Um, maybe I should have been more careful going through the steps with you. But really, uh, for $40, I guess it turned out okay. I'm going to have to add a little bit of tape if I'm getting some light leakage. And if you want to see it on the camera... There it is. See? And you just look in the sight. And uh, we're going to try it out in some bright sunlight and see how it works. But honestly, I think that's one of the better do-it-yourself projects that I've come up with. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. You get a good view of your, uh, of your uh, screen. And yeah, it looks funny with the tape on it. But you know what? It isn't that bad. And honestly, I didn't even need the rubber eyepiece, but... Uh, We'll test it all different ways. Anyway, that's our end of our project. I hope that uh, made some sense to you. If not, well, maybe you ought to just buy one. They're getting cheaper all the time, by the way. I've seen them on uh, on eBay for around 100 bucks. So uh, as it progresses, it may, be, it may not even be worth building one for yourself. But uh, it's kind of an interesting project. And honestly, in all, all fairness, it didn't turn out too bad. So... Uh, We'll come up with something more interesting for next time. And as always, until next time, make sure you just get out there and keep shooting.